The arrival of Indonesia's first three Rafale F-4 fighter jets marks far more than a routine procurement milestone. It signals a deliberate shift in Jakarta's long-term defense posture, a recognition that the country can no longer rely on a fragmented mix of aircraft sourced from multiple suppliers. For decades, Indonesia operated a diverse fleet born out of necessity, historical circumstance, and political balancing. While this patchwork structure offered flexibility, it also produced chronic challenges in training, maintenance, readiness, and overall modernization. The Rafale F-4's introduction begins to break that pattern, offering a coherent path toward a unified, technologically advanced air combat capability. This transition comes at a time when the Indo-Pacific security environment is becoming more contested than ever. From the South China Sea to the Indian Ocean, regional powers are upgrading their forces, and air power has emerged as the clearest indicator of national capacity. Southeast Asian states are rapidly reassessing their fleets. Thailand continues to operate Gripen C-D fighters. Malaysia is moving forward with the FA-50 Block 20. Vietnam still relies heavily on the Su-30 Mk-2, while Singapore maintains the most advanced mix in the region with its F-15 SGs and incoming F-35 BS. Indonesia's commitment to the Rafale should therefore be understood as part of a broader regional trend in which network-centric operations, high survivability, and multi-role flexibility increasingly define air superiority. Historically, Indonesia's air force has been shaped by diversity rather than coherence. American-built F-16s, Russian-built Su-30s, British Hawk trainers, South Korean T-50s, and various transport and reconnaissance platforms, including domestically produced CN-235s, created a fleet that was operationally functional but logistically burdensome. Each aircraft type required separate supply chains, distinct technical expertise, and different pilot training pipelines. As a result, Indonesia faced constant challenges in sustaining readiness levels, prompting long-standing concerns from analysts and defense observers. A shift toward a more unified frontline force was not just desirable, it became essential. The Rafale F-4 arrives exactly at this strategic crossroads. As one of the most advanced configurations of the Rafale family, the F-4 standard brings an enhanced suite of sensors, next-generation connectivity, and a refined multi-role combat profile. Equipped with an AESA radar, cutting-edge electronic warfare systems, advanced targeting and networking capabilities, and a wide spectrum of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, the Rafale offers Indonesia an immediate leap in operational performance. It can dominate air superiority missions, conduct deep strike operations, perform maritime interdiction, and support reconnaissance, all within one integrated platform. For a country seeking both capability and reliability, the Rafale delivers a combat-proven, high-availability solution. The strategic effect of introducing the Rafale extends well beyond the aircraft's technical specifications. With its long-range strike abilities and superior situational awareness, the Rafale significantly strengthens Indonesia's posture in sensitive zones such as the Natna region. It reinforces national air defense operations, enhances monitoring of strategic maritime corridors, and supports a stronger deterrence posture at a time when regional competition continues to escalate. When combined with Indonesia's expanding radar network and new A400M transport aircraft, the Rafale forms part of a more integrated defense architecture, enabling mobility, sensor fusion, and sustained operations across Indonesia's vast archipelagic geography. However, fielding a high-end fighter is only the first step. Operating a system as sophisticated as the Rafale requires highly trained pilots, technicians, and engineers, along with modern infrastructure and long-term budgetary commitment. Indonesia has already begun upgrading facilities, including preparing the Pekanbaru Air Base to host the incoming fleet. Yet infrastructure alone is not enough. Maintaining Rafale readiness demands a robust ecosystem of spare parts, advanced simulators, and diagnostic tools, all supported by consistent investment. 
many Indonesian defense enthusiasts have raised valid questions over whether the country is fully prepared for the long-term costs of sustaining such a platform. Their concerns echo the experiences of other nations integrating modern fighters, the acquisition is the easy part, maintaining peak performance over decades is the true challenge. Public sentiment within Indonesia has been largely positive. The arrival of the first jets generated widespread attention, with many expressing pride that the National Air Force is finally equipped with a world-class fighter. The Rafaeli's aesthetics, combat history, and technological sophistication have resonated strongly with a population eager to see the country shed older platforms. At the same time, more informed observers are quick to point out that Indonesia must address not only acquisition but also sustainment. They highlight ongoing concerns about fleet diversity, noting that Indonesia will continue operating older aircraft types for years to come. These discussions reflect a growing public understanding of defense issues and a desire for long-term strategic planning rather than symbolic procurement. In the regional balance of air power, the Rafaeli elevates Indonesia into a more competitive tier. Compared with Thailand's Gripen C-D fleet, the Rafaeli offers superior sensor performance, network integration, and multi-role flexibility. Against Vietnam Su-30MK2S, the Rafaeli provides clear advantages in beyond visual range combat, electronic warfare, and interoperability. Malaysia's FA-50 Block 20, while modern and capable, belongs to a lighter category and cannot match the Rafaeli's range, payload, or survivability. Singapore remains the regional benchmark with its F-15 SGs and upcoming F-35 BS, but Indonesia's Rafaelis narrow the qualitative gap and ensure that Jakarta remains a credible actor in Southeast Asia's evolving security landscape. Once all 42 Rafaelis are delivered, Indonesia will possess one of the largest modern fighter fleets in the region, potentially positioning it as a central air power player. Beyond operational capability, the Rafaeli program aligns with Indonesia's long-term goal of enhancing defense autonomy. The procurement includes technology transfer, training programs, and industrial participation, critical components for a country seeking to strengthen its domestic aerospace sector and reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. These elements lay the foundation for improved local expertise, stronger engineering capacity, and a more resilient defense ecosystem. In this sense, the Rafaeli is not only a platform for air superiority but also a catalyst for national technological development. Looking ahead, Indonesia's air force is poised to evolve toward greater modernization and force coherence. The Rafaeli may form the backbone of a future high-end fleet supported by upgraded F-16s and advanced training platforms such as the T-50. Integrated with A400M transport aircraft and enhanced radar networks, Indonesia will gain improved surveillance reach, faster deployment options, and sustained operational endurance across its dispersed island territories. For a nation responsible for securing one of the world's largest archipelagos, this evolution is not optional, it is strategic necessity. Ultimately, the arrival of the Rafaeli F-4 represents a transformational shift for Indonesia's air force. It strengthens national defense, boosts regional deterrence, and signals Jakarta's commitment to long-term military capability. If Indonesia continues to invest in sustainment, training, and infrastructure, the Rafaeli will serve not just as a powerful fighter jet but as the foundation of a new era in Indonesian air power, one defined by readiness, strategic clarity, and the ability to protect national sovereignty with confidence for decades to come.